Arlington police officers were placed on leave when it was discovered the traffic stops they were reporting never actually happened. Dallas Morning News watchdog Dave Lieber here to talk about what could have motivated these officers. Dave, I've got so many questions about this, I'm not sure where to start. Let's start with, with how these guys got caught. How did they get caught writing the fake tickets? Well, their supervisors looked for dash cam videos of them making these okay. traffic stops, and they turned out to be phantom traffic stops. They would just click that they made a stop, but there was nothing behind it. So they were uh, trying to do something that they're not supposed to do, apparently. Yeah, no, apparently not. Now, usually when there's a crime or any kind of offense, you need to show that somebody was harmed. There's no real harm here because nobody got a ticket, right? So, so why is this such a big deal? Well... You're right about that, but ticket quotas are illegal in Texas. Police departments can't mandate their officers write a certain number of tickets. But, you know, I don't know about you, but we all believe that that's really kind of happening under the table. And in this particular case, it, it, it popped out. And so we now have one of the largest police departments in the state of Texas, a department with over 600 officers, where 15, 15 of these officers have been pulled off duty and put on administrative leave because the investigation showed that they were creating these phantom traffic stops. Any chance that their supervisors could wind up getting in trouble because, as you said, maybe they were under pressure? Well, definitely, I think the supervisors are going to get in trouble. And we got a hint of that last week when the Star-Telegram reported that two lawyers for some of the officers say that they were told informally by their leaders, by their supervisors in the department, that they had to do two or three stops uh, per shift. And if they didn't, that they would lose uh, overtime pay and they would lose part-time police uh, earning opportunities. And plus, Mark, uh, I think this is going to probably go to a Tarrant County grand jury. And so the officers really could lose their, their careers. And so what's the incentive for them to keep it quiet? I would think that, and I wrote this before it happened, I think they're going to start talking and they're going to start telling people, yeah, our supervisors asked us to do this. We had no choice if we wanted to, to live our lives properly. I have a feeling you and I might be talking about this again in the not-so-distant future. Dave, That's as always, interesting. as always, thank you very much. Thanks, Mark.